Let's imagine for a moment if Christian theology were true. I want to point out how ridiculous the concept of a devil is. When we think of the Judeo-Christian devil, we imagine really dark, twisted, and torturous things. Folks will often describe the devil as an evil entity that loves inflicting terror and pain onto others. The worst of the worst, the most decrepit mind possible. Isn't that the scary image you had in your mind if you had grown up in a Christian culture? But we should be asking ourselves, why would God create such a thing? He wouldn't, right? I would sure hope not. Let's assume God didn't create such an evil being. Let's assume the devil was created good, rational, and appreciating love, good things, and good living. So then, what was the devil's big crime? What got him kicked out of heaven? Well, he was probably jealous of God. He wanted to be like God. He desired power. But having these desires or feelings does not make you desire evil or want to cause harm to others. Furthermore, why should God even care? God is God. It's not like the devil could present a threat of any kind, unless God isn't as powerful as we all like to imagine. If no beings created by God can become God or overpower God, it seems like a petty crime, a victimless aspiration. It's not like the devil was out slaving, torturing, or murdering people. That's what God does, condones, and even commands. The devil never told people to stone themselves to death or have young virgin girls taken to be property. All throughout biblical scripture, it is God and God's special people who perform such evil and gruesome acts. It is God who commands angels to visit and kill children by the thousands. Why do we assume the devil would be like this, or even be evil at all? especially if he wasn't created that way. If Christian theology were true, then we were created too. And obviously not created perfect either. We are pretty naive and weak-minded. We also desire power and have feelings of jealousy. But are we pure evil because of it? No, of course not. I was jealous and envious of my big brother. He was more powerful than me. He accomplished bigger and better things. He had more control over our little world. I wanted some of that power and control. I too wanted to steal his thunder and often tried. It didn't make me evil with evil thoughts or transform me into a sadistic boy. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I never became a terror-loving, sick-minded narcissist. So how is it that we would automatically assume the devil would be so evil? It's a silly and unfair assumption with no merit for such conclusions. In fact, it is very unlikely the devil would have such characteristics, unless God created or converted him into such a perverted and twisted creature. That would then be God's desire to have such a being exist. But if God created a beautiful and wonderful being who desired power or became jealous of his creator, that doesn't mean he desires hate, terror, and evil. If such stories had even a sliver of truth to them, it would be far more reasonable to imagine the devil probably isn't so ugly and awful. He's been given a bad rap, you might say. It might be an unfair interpretation of a being we don't even know 
and one who never even got his side of the story told. Which leads me to my next question. The devil would probably be a very intelligent being. Why doesn't he repent? Certainly he understands the grave situation he is in. None of it makes any sense. Doesn't God love all his creations? Or just humans? Animals, angels, or any other creatures that might span our universe or heavenly dimensions are all insignificant or unloved beings, not worthy of God's grace, and only we are special? God doesn't sound like a very nice God. If the devil isn't stupid, he would certainly wish to repair his bad boy reputation and make right his wrongs. Or perhaps God absolutely refuses to offer a forgiveness program for all. The more I look into the concept of a Christian God, the more I recognize these twisted, illogical, and narcissistic patterns. It appears to me as though it is a Christian God who more resembles the devil that we have all imagined. After all, it is God who gets jealous. God who has a huge and sensitive ego. He created angels to worship himself. All they do is stand before his throne and praise him night and day. Non-stop. Now this, my friends, is rather disturbing. To create beings that would only desire to worship you and feed your vanity. This is the essence of a narcissistic being, and a God that will torture you in hell if you fail to follow suit. You have no choice. You have to love and worship this emotionally offended God, or you will burn. Thankfully, we can now turn off our imaginations and wake up to reality. None of these ideologies maintain any credible evidence or merit for being true. They are completely illogical and rather silly, born out of the Bronze Ages. I reckon we will continue to see these beliefs wither and disintegrate as humanity enters into the technological and scientific ages. Stay strong and wise, my friends. I don't believe in masquerades. I don't believe that you're okay. I don't believe that God will save. Only you can solve your problems.